happens to you sometimes. I think we've developed depth over the course of the, of the last spring and this fall, and guys are getting in there for the first time, and a lot of different things are happening. But you know, it's something that everybody, every team in football goes through, and we have to be able to do it too. Is there any concern that those injuries could be long term or hard to Yeah, I, I haven't talked to the docs about it. They haven't said anything to me, so just see how it goes. And Coach Moore handles injuries anyway, so. The run D, I think they got 281 rushing yards. Um, yeah, it's disheartening for us. I think it's a lot of combination. It always is when you see those kind of yards. It's always a combination of a lot of things. Uh, we'll get after it tomorrow, try to get that fixed again and work on it. Um, anytime, been through that a few times. It's just, it's always something here, something there. You know, the call wasn't right. There's a million different things. So we'll figure it out and try to get better at it. Yeah, that was nice. He set the guy up on that one. I got to give him credit. Uh, good to see that happen. He's got a lot of ability. And he's he's going to be a really good player. He's a good football player. I'm glad he's with us. Coach Morrow said that uh, you guys made a few adjustments on defense, and he was encouraged by them. How did you kind of see the adjustments coming? Yeah, out we did. Time? You know, we, we we did a couple things a little bit differently. I think that um, you know we got some guys, that, younger guys, getting their first taste of really getting to play. Uh, but as I said, it's no excuse because we're young or any of those things, and we don't make excuses. We'll just try to get better at it. How hard is it to kind of game plan next week, not knowing who you're going to have, and obviously you're obviously going to be without Josh Wood in the first half? How, how difficult does that make it going into a game with all this uncertainty? Well, we'll figure it out. We'll just sit down, and that's why we, you know, we try to develop depth along the way. You're not going to get through a whole season unscathed. You know, it doesn't happen very often. I think in all the years I've been coaching, I think. Only one time that I start with the same guys that I ended with, you know, the whole way through. It was a nice year too, by the way, when that happens. That is nice, but it's it's not. It's, these are not uncommon things, and we have to be able to, to get through it and get better. And uh, you know, next man up. What did you think of Chris Barnes's performance coming in for Kenny? Well, you know what? I really didn't get a chance to evaluate Chris, and so I don't want to, you know, anything I say, I'm just kind of looking at a lot of different things out there, and I'll take a good look at that either tonight or tomorrow morning off the film. So I'm sure Chris did a fine job, though. You're, you're Kenny has kind of the emotional leader of the defense to see him go down and play like that. And... Yeah, you know, I did. I don't know what's, what, you know, what happened to Kenny exactly. I haven't, like I said, I haven't, the doctors haven't talked to me, but it's not, it's not a lot of fun when you know, the guy is to, Kind of the leader of your defense is on the side with a towel around his neck. Um, you know, you'd, you'd rather see him out there. This guy's good. Thank you. Hey, have a nice